To describe Haas's tenure in Formula 1 as a roller coaster ride is an understatement and an affront to roller coasters around the world. Every year, something seems to happen to them, whether it would be bad Santa selling a snake oil to Gene or drafting in a pampered mid driver to help keep the team afloat. But while these headaches are now gone, Haas aren't really a team to kick its employees to the curb, and a person who has been there since the very beginning is the team principal, Gunter Steiner, or in my vain attempt to mimic his accent, Gunter Steiner. And yeah, Drive to Survive has made this dude into a cultural icon amongst Formula 1 fans. This is f***ing madness. And now we are a f***ing bunch of wankers. I f***ing had enough of both of you. He does not fox smash my door. And he had some killer beats dedicated as well. Kevin is scared of spiders. Omar is better driver. I'm Günther Steiner. I'm mad Renault. Me, the has the fiver. But I don't know if a great many people know that much about Steiner's background, where he came from, and how he became team principal of America's only Formula 1 team, at least the only one for a couple more years. So how did Gunther Steiner become the vice hand honcho of this outfit? After all, it is a big responsibility being a team principal because you are leading a team, because you're the team principal. Well, he didn't spring up overnight. In fact, his ventures in motorsport began way back in the 80s, and it wasn't within Formula 1. In fact, it wasn't even within circuit racing at all. His first job came working on Mazdas in the World Rally Championship in 1986. He then bounced around various teams in various different roles until 1997, when he went to manage the ProDrive All-Star Rally team and oversaw them winning the European Rally Championship at the hands of Christoph Hellewig. After that, he went over to M Sport as a project manager, before being promoted to Director of Engineering in 2000, working under the Ford World Rally team umbrella, and helped secure runner-up positionings in the 2000 and 2001 WRC seasons for the team. So an impressive resume, at least in the world of rallying. But irrespective of the fact that Gunter hadn't really run a team that was overly familiar with the concept of tarmac. He was poached by the great Nicky Lauda for the role of managing director at the Jaguar Formula 1 team at the end of 2001. Under Steiner's guise, the team had managed to reduce costs and a reshuffle was promising. But despite Eddie Irvine achieving a podium at Monza, the team drowned that year, even with Pedro de la Rosa, the greatest driver never to be considered great, at the wheel of the other car. Despite leaving the place in better shape than what he found it, the head honchos at Ford decided that continuity and the long game were out of the question, and that results were needed now, even if that's not now the world works. So Gunter, along with a few others, were made redundant, and Jag F1 was given two years to turn the ship around. But much like the SS Poseidon, the ship didn't really turn around and instead it kinda capsized. Ford was no longer interested in Formula 1, and so sold the team to Red Bull, who subsequently welcomed back Gunter, who was finishing up work as technical director at Opel's DTM venture. He joined Red Bull as technical operations director, alongside everyone's favourite failed racing driver, Christian Horner. And when this whole venture kicked off in 2005, things did look on the up. But then Red Bull drafted in Adrian Newey, and with a lot of cooks in the Red Bull F1 kitchen, Steiner took up an opportunity to establish the Team Red Bull NASCAR team in Morrisville, North Carolina. He ran that outfit for a couple of years before leaving in April 2008, going off to establish his own company, Fiberworks Composites. Though still in the motorsport scene, perhaps his days of running a race team, in particular Formula One teams, was behind him. That was until a meeting at a steakhouse between himself, Joe Custer, and Gene Haas. At that time, the USF1 team was attempting to get onto the Formula One grid with a base in Charlotte and four bucks worth of funding. Like a lot of other people, none of these guys wanted anything to do with that train wreck. Instead, Steiner pitched to both of them the idea that, you know, why don't we do this ourselves? Because Formula 1 is f***ing expensive, Gunter. Custer and Gene were on board with the idea, and Steiner was deeply involved in building the foundations of the team, recruiting staff, and getting in the good books with engine and chassis manufacturers Ferrari and Delara. After shopping around for whatever was left in the liquidation catalogue from the newer teams of 2010, Steiner was announced as team principal ahead of the 2016 season, marking his F1 return after 11 years away from the paddock. While not quite on as a budget as HRT was, for example, Haas aren't exactly swimming in coin with their Formula 1 team, but Gunter has seen this team to good heights, which would suggest that maybe, just maybe, it could pay off. But then, motor racing happened. Then Bad Santa happened. Then Fox Smash happened. Then the Russian Malfoy family happened. And then they finished last in the 2021 Constructors race. Going by this, some may think that Gunter is doing a sh** house job. But to draw such a conclusion is to dilute the extremely tough nature of Formula 1, and ultimately lose sight of the big picture. And hey, however much of a disaster 2021 was, at least it wasn't as much of a f up as GT7 is. While other new teams have tried and failed, Haas is still here today. They've had their downs, but they've also had their moments in the sun. And it was down to Steiner's expertise and leadership that they are still here today. DTS does not necessarily paint a full picture, it's only a partial view, but if this year brings good fortune, and it kinda looks like it is, it would be in no small part thanks to Gunter himself. So yeah, there's Gunter's story, honestly boys and girls, it is so good to have Formula 1 back in our lives. Feel free to drop a comment below, subscribe to the channel if you're awesome, and always remember, keep it respectful, be wholesome, don't be a manus, even if I was one of Jack doing a couple days ago, and as always, I'll see you all later. 
Kevin ist geht auf Spider. Du Mann ist Peter Treiber. Ein Winter Steiner am Madren und mit der Heste Fiber. Ein Grill der Grill wird mein Speed Kiss. Ein Brown Speed Jazz. Good night, I lie about the fuel tank to give Kevin a better ride. Ha, Hülkenberg, sock my boner. Sein Senando auf der Thron. Bring the Grid Girls to my home. I'm on Tinder with my phone.